Well, welcome back everybody. Um, I'm not sure what step this is in this uh, food, star, uh, food plot uh, step, but uh, this will be the last um, step for me for this season. After this, the food plot's gonna be what it is. So I did plant uh, turnip and radish, oh, three to four weeks ago. And um, I thought it looked a little stagnant. We've got three, maybe four weeks left of the season um, for growing before we get a frost. So I'm going to give it a boost. And this was the step that I told you I'm trying something new this year. So um, let me show you what the food plot looks like. And we'll go from there. So as you can see in the rows, it is coming in. Um, not quite as tall as I had hoped it would be at this point but um, like I said there's still plenty of growing coming um, so overall I'm happy um, it's coming but today we're gonna do something um, different new to me um, and it's worth a try so we'll we'll find out so what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm going to fertilize it, but I'm going to use a spray-on fertilizer with a micronutrient to help the deer um, with their nutrition as far as antler grow weight and that. It takes more than just one application, but I'm doing it in liquid form so that it stays on the plant. It also helps the plant grow, and it's also good for the deer. So. Um, let me show you what will work. So I do have a, a hand sprayer here and I'm going to go and uh, just spray all this lightly. Um, so I am putting on antler grow and it's really a farmer's foliar or a liquid plant food. Um, you mix this all with water. This um, this antler grow stuff is, is new to me. I've read a little bit about it but it's kind of expensive. Um, but it's one ounce of that per gallon of water um, and it says 25 gallons per an acre well i'm not doing a whole acre here i'm only doing a half acre so i'm going to figure somewhere is around 12 to 14 gallons of water so we'll mix that antler grow on it with the liquid plant food in it and it should stick um, to the plants it should leave a nice shiny residue um, they also recommend spraying it on all the vegetation around um, your food plot or um, on the game trails. So if I have anything left over, I'm going to give it a shot of that. And, and uh, we'll see what that does for the, for the food plot. So we'll get back with you. All right, I'm about halfway done. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna take a little longer than I thought, but um, I'm curious to see the results. I just wanted to give you a little bit more information on this farmer's foliar and um, antler grow. So I don't endorse either one of them. I'm just trying it. Um, you wanna check with your state laws. Um, 
as far as I can tell, I live here in Maine, and the state law says you can have food plots. But also state law says you can't put out bait um, for deer or any animal other than bear. Um, so that means mineral sites. Um, you can't dump mineral on the ground at certain times of the year. But there's nothing that I can find in the laws that says you can't put minerals or supplements in their food, which is what I'm doing of spraying on the leaves of a food plot. So I may get caught doing something I'm not supposed to do, but if I do, I do. And um, But I thought it would be interesting for you guys to know that information. Um, I'll let you know how it turns out. Like I said, this is the last step in my food plot process for this year. So whatever it turns out to be is what it's going to be. Um, this stuff I'm spraying, um, the black flies are horrible because of the heat. But um, the, uh, the stuff I'm spraying, you can spray. It has a surfactant in it, so it sticks. So if the grass or, or your food plot is dewy, um, that's fine. It'll stick. Um, you can actually spray this stuff in the rain if you wanted to um, because within minutes it dries. And uh, a good way to tell is when it does dry, it should leave your leaves with a glossy um, shine to them. Um, so you'll know it's stuck and uh, then the deer ingest it through what they're eating. So we'll see if it works and uh, I'll let you know later this fall. But uh, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.